food crises remain a huge global challenge, and they are likely to become even more acute, persistent and complex. Man-made and natural crises are having devastating effects, including 50 million people displaced in 2017 alone. Two years ago, we launched the Global Network to address the increasing magnitude and intensity of food crisis with the Food and Agriculture Organization, the World Food Programme and my fellow Commissioner for Humanitarian Aid. Over the last two years, the initial membership has grown to include 11 international organizations, including today's host, the International Food Policy Research Institute. Its aim is to promote greater political dialogue and joint planning, based on recent and reliable joint analysis to ensure our global responses are better informed, more timely and more coordinated. With a global report, we have jointly built a powerful tool, a thermometer, to define the temperature, location and the root causes of each crisis. This report is now the major reference document, guiding international responses to food crises, including the European Union's humanitarian and development actions, which are now even more coordinated. But as this year's report shows, we cannot be complacent. Coordinated global action based on joint analysis is needed more than ever. And I'm ready to help steer this process within the European Union and at a global level. Thanks to the global report and global network, I'm confident that together we have the right tools, partnerships and political will not just to diagnose the problem, but also to prescribe the most effective solutions to global food crisis. So let me thank Dr. Schengen Fan and the International Food Policy Research Institute for organizing the launch of the Global Report in Washington today. I wish you all a successful event.